Okay, so here's Jordan with Singer the Snatch. Got him a silver medal at University Nationals and the gold medal at under 25 Nationals. It also got him third overall at Universities and he won the national title at under 25. So this is a pretty good lift. Um, Jordan typically has serious technical flaws when the weight starts to get heavy he throws everything out the window and just bangs and dives um obviously he's getting better because he's making big lifts and meets but there's some things that we gotta address even Jordan in your setup here I just I cannot stand the rocking back and forth um I don't mind if you want to do your butt pump, like the DJ butt pump, but I do not want to see that bar moving the way it is right there, because then you're just losing losing some control, and now you're pushing it forward. Um, great singlet, by the way. Even here, it's still moving forward. There's a lot of unnecessary movements before the lift even begins, and and sometimes that's okay because you your your body you're you're generating you're heightening the awareness of your body, but in this case I think it's too much. Another one, Wait. okay, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> okay, so so now this is the lift. So moving forward, watch the Alicos. Watch. So in in your dynamic start, you're pushing it forward instead of that bar should be sitting still, and the dynamic start should not change anything. Okay. So it's a little forward. Decent position here. Good. Here's where you typically, Jordan, is that you like super hyper extend, uh, super extend back and watch like your left side here. You catch and you keep those toes down. You never actually really move that left side into the heels. which puts you in that bad position out front, okay? So, right here, decent. I actually think your knees could be back a little bit more and your chest could be, a, if your knees were back a little more, your chest would be in a perfect spot. This isn't a bad position, I just think you push those back and then that bar is going to be a little bit over, more over the midfoot. And then you, you immediately push those hips through. I don't know. It's like, I really like this position. I don't like this. Because you're, you, you're waiting to move. It's like you do like this sloppy no feet almost so it's got to be move like finish right now trigger the upper body to shrug back work through the bar fast but push through those heels push through those heels push through those heels push through those heels okay I'm not, I'm not as good at the uh, weightlifting analysis as I am at the throwing because this is like only the fourth time I've done this. So bear with me for this being boring, Jordan. Let's just go back to the beginning. Don't do the, don't let that bar roll back and forth, roll back and forth. Don't push it forward on the dynamic start. Push those knees back just a little bit to load the hammies a little bit more, but keep that good posture that you have right here. That's excellent. Back, 
back position, arms are long, chest is big, great position. Bump here, shrug. So the shrug's right here. Move your feet to your heels. Move them to the heels. Don't jump back. It's finish the shrug. At that, that point at the top, it's got to be more upper body, less pulling from your feet. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's got to be push those heels down right away, out, not back. And then that bar will be in a better position, but, you know, still good lift, obviously. 118 at 69, that's getting pretty good. You know, you add 12 kilos to that, and that's serious weight as a 69. 